Hey, hello everybody and happy Monday. I am Lynn from l j Goods. It is so nice to have you here today. Happy March 18th. And um, yeah, we're gonna do an IOD inlay project today. We had started this box project a few weeks back when we were prepping for some projects when the new release came out. And so uh, today I'm gonna to show you how we're gonna finish this up to make it look like antique French mattress ticking. And so I'm so excited. I hope you love this pro project as much as I do. And um, it'll give you a little refresher on using these wonderful inlays. So um, again, we are l j Goods. We are a brick and mortar shop here in Medina, New York between Buffalo and Rochester, not too far from Canada. And you can find us at lnjgoods.com or, um, yeah, or here at our brick and mortar. Thank you for a lovely, lovely weekend of visitors. Um, wasn't that IOD release spectacular? Oh my goodness sakes, it was awesome. Hi, Megan. Hi. <laughs> Megan's here with us today. And she is going to be monitoring those comments and switching between YouTube and Facebook. But hey, if you're watching from Facebook or YouTube, we would love it if you would go ahead and do all of those things. That means so much to us. Leave us a comment. Share this video. Um, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Give us a whoa, big surprise. Who cares what emoji it is? We would love that interaction, but most of all, we love your comments. So, um, hey, it was a busy weekend. It was very fun. Yeah. Megan uh, was here on Saturday. She normally does not work on Saturday, but was really busy working to get orders out. Yes, I know. Everyone's excited. I did not want to make them wait. Yeah. And we're still working on them. Yeah. Right? It's yep. it's uh, well, it going to be a few out. days process and by the end of the week, I would think. Yeah, yeah. But uh, thank you so much, you guys. We always appreciate you supporting our, our little business here. We love it. Um, let me see. Well, we were we were going to have a, a little birthday dinner or a birthday uh, card playing night with cake with, at Ben and Rebecca's and Ben ended up in the hospital so that kind of went by the wayside, but he's doing fine. Yep. Um, what else? What? Oh, just it was. It's, it's just been a busy weekend. You went to, out with Grandma though yesterday. I did. I took my my mom to get a pet mini petties yesterday. That was fun, and so um, yeah, we're good. We're really good. Yes. It's it's almost like I, I don't know what to talk about because it's all Show. it's been all IOD, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right? All right, well, let's take a look at this awesome inlay. This is Petite Floors Red. And I'm going to flip the camera down. And Megan, if you just say hi or let, let us know. Is there anybody watching? I will be right with you. I'm just working on the description on YouTube right now. All right, and you're putting together a collection. It's all set. It's at the top. Wonderful. Uh, it's a, down below in the description on YouTube, and it's up above on Facebook or you can find it in the drop down menu on top of our website under featured on our live tutorials and everything that mom's using today you can find there. That's a really cute set you're wearing. Thank you. Way. I've had it's this really for cute. a very long time. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, okay, so I got this done um, this weekend because I, I just was so excited to play with this and I figured we would go ahead and finish the front edge today. So uh, let me tell you what I have done so far. If you missed that get ready for the IOD release video with us, what I did is I mixed up, um, a, I don't know, I had faded burlap, I had sandy blonde, and I had white swan. And I kind of mixed those all together, probably about one to one of the sandy blonde and the faded burlap and then I threw in a little bit of white swan. So um, I base coated the entire box with that mix and then I used uh, Carnival Red as my red. We marked out all of the striping because I, I knew then exactly what I was going to be putting on here um, and so I kind of pre-measured and we taped everything off 
and and started to paint and then I carried that same striping right down the front of the box okay and then what I did here on the front here to prep this for our inlays is I um, I painted this let it dry and then I gave it a coat of liquid patina just to set that in place we're going to be using liquid patina with our um, our little inlay pieces today. So I'm going to kind of put this aside and we'll take a look at what we have here that's left. And we're going to take, um, we're going to get our, our bits and pieces out so I can carry this pattern right down the front. So the petite floor inlay has four sheets. It comes in two different colors. There's a pink and there's a red. And so I basically chose um, the elements that I wanted. I know, well, I guess I didn't use this one. Well, surprise, surprise. Oh, yes, I did. Yes. So I'm going to carry this one down the front. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim that out right now. I just love the red. I think the pink has been really popular and I love the pink too, but I just love this red one. So I'm just going to use my grid lines as a guide. I love the red. Oh my goodness. I just, well, yeah, the red is just a nice, surprising, beautiful thing. It really is. I love it. It's like a really true red too. It really is. Yeah. Oh, so Lisa Bouvier-Ape is here. Hi, Hello, Lisa. I'm Cheryl Macedo, Coral Beals, Miss Leah Big for Daniel, Shane Oh, lots of friends over here on Facebook. Hi, you guys. Hello. So great to have you here today. Now, I, you can see I used one of these little guys. So I'm going to cut that one out. That goes there. So I'm basically repeating the same pattern down the front of the box. You can see Dagny on YouTube. Hey, Dagny, DJ Dagny. Patrice. Hi, Patrice. Everybody's here today. Hey, Gilly's got... here. Hi, Gilly. Wendy's here. So good to have you guys. Um, and I'm telling you, there are just so many wonderful little pieces to this that... I mean, what, what could you possibly, what more could you need? Okay, and this one goes here and here. So yeah, I just basically laid this out the way that I wanted. I just carefully um, picked those pieces that I wanted on here. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I made a mistake on this side so I had to paint over it I lifted it too soon and it was too smudgy so I only have one of these so here's what I'm thinking I think I'm going to use one of these bigger ones on the front that'll work right can you explain what liquid patina is yes liquid patina is um, it is a product by Debbie's DIY that can be used as a transfer medium, a, um, a top coat, a decoupage medium. It can do all the different things. Okay, and then we have two of these. Okay, so we have this and we have this. And now, we seem to be missing a sheet that has all of the, oh, maybe, no, maybe not. I think what I'm going to do is, I got to really piece this, yeah, you know what, I'm going to open another one, actually. I'm going to open another one of these, Megan, if, if we could. And that one goes there. So I have, I have this. Okay. And then I, cause I need this other one here. So you need a whole new one? I do. Yeah, I do. Thank you. 
I wasn't thinking when I laid this out. This is going to go on the end. This will go over on this end. And I'll open up this one. I took a picture of this all laid out when I first did it, and then I couldn't find it. So, um, so I don't mind because I will be using this again and again and again. There were so many awesome project ideas that we saw using this trans this uh, this transfer. So I'll save these two little pieces, and I'm just going to cut these long ones right here. Question from Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Do you think the inlays have been improved? I find from watching IOD all weekend, the finished projects are so vivid in comparison to the initial inlays, or are we just better at it? I think you're just better at it. I really do. Um, I, they have done nothing different in the formulation or um, the application that we teach. We're doing it just the same. And so um, I think that, like with anything, the more you work with inlays, the more, um, the, the better you get at it. And sometimes, like with me, I've worked with them for a long time and I still made a mistake, okay? So I guess this, when you work with the inlays, I look at them as, and I'm telling you, they're like, it is truly my favorite Thing to use of IOD. I love using these inlays. I love them because I get to do this. I, I get to apply them into the paint. I feel like I'm more a part of the, the process and the design process. It's more tactile. It is much more tactile. You're absolutely right. And I love that. So, and then this one will go here. So, I... I just think it's cool. And I love that they're using all of these little bits and pieces too because you can then practice. You can you can get a coaster, you can get a little piece of wood, whatever. You can use one of these little flowers here and just practice. But see, to me, the inlays have um, sometimes a little more of an unpredictable um, result, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. And and I understand why people can be intimidated with that. That is why I would encourage you to, if you're going to, if you want to try these, get one that is has a lot of different patterns or one that you can cut apart and use um, on small bits so that you have an opportunity to practice. It's the only way that you will perfect your technique. Now, even though we may have perfected our technique, sometimes there are things that just don't happen the way you want them to. That happens with a transfer. It happens with a transfer. It happens with a stamp. Yeah. It happens with anything that we use. And so I want you to feel comfortable with the possibility that you may not get the perfect result. And again, that depends on what you consider perfect. To me, if it if it skips out a little bit, like if you look right here, if it if I don't get a complete transfer like right there, I'm good with that. I'm okay because I like a more worn vintage kind of a look to this, right? Okay, so that is that. Now you can apply these into paint. You can apply them into um, into the liquid patina or a clear finish, like I said. And I'm I'm going to switch my camera around in just a second. What be said, inlays do not need to look like factory finish. They do not. And you just, you cannot get them. They're just, they just may not be, um, they're just a totally different medium. I think a lot of times people have the expectation that they are, uh, they're supposed to perform like a transfer. Well, they're not. They're not a transfer. 
Hi, Annie, and welcome, Betty. It's your first time here. Hi, Betty. Betty, have you ever used the inlays before? Susan thinks the melange inlay is perfect for starting out. It really is. It really is. Um, I agree with you, Betty. Sorry, you guys. I'm taking you on a little bit of a, a trip here. Mary Jo says, the inlays are all about texture. If you're into perfect smooth finishes, they're maybe not for you. I exactly. love that. Yeah, exactly. I'm so glad to hear that, Mary Jo. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to start to piece and part these. Um... And what I like to do is I apply a piece of tape to secure one end. Mary Jo, I was, a, I was actually able to catch your order and I will be able to combine them. Isn't that great news? So I want to get these into position and I create a little flap with the blue tape to secure them in place. And then, um, whoops, sorry guys, sorry. Annie says she did use the inlay and it was a disaster the first time because she didn't use chalk paint. So I'm assuming you use something with like a built-in top coat. Right. It's tricky because you need that, that dry time. You have to really watch the dry time, I guess is what I want to say when you're, and look at me, I'm, I'm not measuring anything. I am just going for it. But see all these little bits and pieces? Like, I will save these in an envelope, and who knows? I may I may use them somewhere. I might just practice. I might save all these little bits and just use them to practice. Deb's painting a little wood cabinet and using the lattice rose inlay as she's watching Oh, you. Deb, that lattice rose inlay was just... I'm finishing ours in the, the one we started on our live on Friday, and I'm finishing it. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's another great inlay project to work on and to um, to try. It's got lots of different patterns. You can use it for smalls. Okay, Peggy says, I was watching someone else and they said if you use patina, it prevents you from reusing the inlay because it seals it. Have you found this to be true? Yes, I did. I do find that to be true. You are absolutely correct with that. But I will use liquid patina when I, like here I had a mix of paint and I just, I wanted it to go a little quicker um, for this project because I knew that I was going to be demonstrating it live. So I use liquid patina. I also will use liquid patina when I am creating a, a project that has a blended background. Mm -hmm. um, I have, there's a lot of videos that I've done sharing all of those techniques. Like you could technically do this in, right into the paint Absolutely. on this project. It would be a little tricky. Yeah, I mean, I would paint just... A stripe put the inlay. I mean, yeah, absolutely. It would be a little more of a fussier yes. project, but not that I would be opposed to that either. I guess you just choose what kind of fussy you're willing to deal with, whether the fussiness of the liquid patina or the fussiness of the alternating paint. Stripes. Exactly. And the fact that you may not be able to use this again, but yeah. here's another thing, you guys, if you do journaling and, and I showed this in one of my inlay videos mm -hmm. that I did for IOD, I will, I will save these spent papers that I can't use anymore, and I use them to collage. I was just going to say, any, mm -hmm. not just journaling, any kind of mixed media, you could decoupage them. Yeah, like absolutely. So why don't I go ahead, I'm going to kind of alternate these. I'll save that for later, and I'll save that for later. I just love this color combination. I'm going to start on these pieces right here. Let me do this one and let me do this one here. So French mattress ticking. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you a little um, couple of pictures that I have of it was actually used to put straw ticking in or um, to cover mattresses. Well, straw ticking would have been way back when, but. Mm 
I'm trying to center this up, but I'm also thinking, hey, you know what? Fabric doesn't necessarily, <laughs> isn't necessarily perfect, right? But no. let me show you um, some examples of mattress ticking. Here's a little example there, right? See those stripes? Now, I have a nice, I've, I've always had a nice little collection of the stripe, just the stripes without the, the florals, but look how pretty, like there's another, see that? Beautiful, I love Really it. beautiful. So that is my inspiration for this. Um, yeah, that's my inspiration. Very cool. Okay, let's put this aside, and I am going to put this one in place. Then I'll flip this over, and we'll start to apply those inlays. Laura loves French ticking. Oh, Laura, I know. Megan, remember when we were at Stephanie's booth mm -hmm. and we went back behind the scenes and she literally had stacks and stacks of the most beautiful French ticking and red fabrics and oh my gosh. She uses it as inspiration for her papers. She does. Very often she will scan them right in and... Uh, Deborah said, as soon as I saw this box, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, Christmas, I better get more than one. Oh, I didn't even think about Christmas, but you're oh right. Oh my gosh, Christmas. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be amazing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to tip this up. The top is, is hinged, but... That up a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to paint the interior here. Okay, so I have my liquid patina, and now I am going to start. I think I'm going to start with this one. So I'll lay my liquid patina down. I already have a coat on here, remember that. Because I don't want to smudge my paint, although I ended up smudging my paint, but it's okay. It really is. Would fusion decoupage medium work? Yes, it works beautifully. Yes, it does. I have done that, and we did that in our in our inlay class. Dorsey, I'm so glad you're here today. If you have any questions about products, you can call us or email us, text us, ask right here during a live. Okay, and so now we're going to... Use my brayer. Patrice says we can't see. Oh, sorry. I just hit my... I'm so sorry, you guys. Sorry, I'm on a delay. Patrice always catches it before me. She sure does. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, so we want to... I'm going to kind of take that tape off because I want to get that right down in there. Okay. And then what I'll do is I just have a damp cloth. I'm not using my mister. I'm just going to take a damp cloth. And see, I lightly dampen this so that it, it shows vivid and bright again, okay? And you'll see what that means in just a second, too, when I do the next one. All right, so I'm going to lay that in. And I've got a nice generous amount there. So no, the live that we did on Friday, it's right, it should be right on our YouTube under live videos. It's all, if you're watching on YouTube, on Facebook, you can also find it under videos. So I'll press there. We also have, Sharon, we also have, if you're interested in, and excuse me, a deep dive on inlays, we have a private class that you can sign up for on our website that is the ins and outs of inlays and it's really helpful I think. We cover everything, everything inlays and on all different uh, substrates we use it on everything. 
And once you purchase a class like that, you have the content forever. You know what? I'm going to add that class to the to our list for today so mm -hmm. people can find that yeah. easily. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. And so see how it's a little dull? But watch when I dampen it. It's going to begin to activate those pigments. And look how, see how it gets bright? That's what we want. We want to dampen it until it shows that, until it shows bright again. And then I'm going to kind of keep an eye on this. Because there's like, it, the timing, you, you have to like time it just right. Sometimes I'm off on my timing and I end up pulling up a little bit of that the other inlay that's in there or the other I, the other layer of liquid patina what am i talking about these might not perfectly line up sorry You're sharon good. i put a link to it right in the comments here on youtube as well so you can find it easily Shannon's oldest daughter's flying home from Florida for a week. She's so oh, excited. Yay. I'm excited for you. Vincetta is here. This is her first time watching live. I'm Welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. We really do. We just appreciate that you choose to spend your time with us. It's pretty awesome. Oh, nice, Susan. I, you know, I was trying to answer people in the comments who were asking about your pants and just let them know they're from a local place, 1864 Boutique, and Susan just bought her first piece from Lizzie. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> because of that, so yeah. that's great. Yeah. Yep. It's an investment, but you know the way I look at it? How many uses do you get out of that one piece of clothing? And I'm willing to invest when I know it's something I absolutely love and that um, I know that I'll wear again and again and again, you know. Okay, so I'm going to take a peek at this, just a slight peek. All right, it's still coming off. It's like you want it to dry just to the point where it's got just a slight little bit of resistance very slight so I'm going to take my heat gun to this just for a second because I don't want this to dry into that liquid patina so it's got it's it's tugging just a little bit it's just a little bit of tug See here how it's picking up my paint? But that's okay. There it is. Do you Are you familiar with Brimfield, Massachusetts? Sharon's asking. Oh, yes. I've been there. Deborah says these particular inlays would make a beautiful monogrammed ornament. I agree. <gasps> Imagine this at Christmas time on ornaments. Yep. Okay, so see, I probably didn't press this into place enough, um, or I didn't let it dry enough. But can you see, can you see up close there, you guys, how it didn't completely transfer? But guess what? It's okay. It's all going to be okay. Every little thing is going to be all right. Every little thing is going to be all right. Do you ever use milk paint? Jeannie wants to know. Um, I love milk paint so much. I have not used it in a while, but I do love it. It's it's really funny. Um, I tend to like the things that are <laughs> that are like I love inlays, even though they're a little more um challenging maybe to use. Well, BJ, you won't be missing anything because we don't do Fridays. We don't do lives on Fridays anymore. We do Monday and Wednesday. We just did a Friday this week or this past week because that was the IOD release. Yep. So our new schedule is Monday and Wednesday. 
so you won't have to feel like you're missing out. Mm-hmm. That's no good for Leah Bigford, Daniel. That's I know, I know. And I do, I want you to see, I'm going to bring this down close. See this? Sometimes that happens because of the grain of the wood. If you have a, a grainier wood, this is oak. Oak has a very heavier, heavy grain. And so I naturally expect that my inlay isn't going to completely adhere, that it may not sink down into that grain completely. And then I also know that if that's the case, I'm probably going to get a little more texture and a little more, um, just a little more grunginess. How many times can you use an inlay, Tressa asks? Well, you can use them up to three times if you use them in uh, in a chalk paint, okay? If you use these in anything that has a resin, an acrylic, a sealer in it, like liquid patina, like our fusion mineral paint, like Jamie's cottage colors, you're gonna get one application. But that, like here, this is the only time that I'm gonna be able to transfer this into another medium. But I save these because I will totally use that as ways to decoupage um, in my journal, all right? I'll save all these pieces. But what I want you to know is when you put it into something that has a top coat, or if you put it into a decoupage medium or into this, it it imprints into that medium, but that medium also seals up what's left on here. Does that make sense, you guys? I hope so. Okay, so now I'm going to put this little guy on. Good question from Carol Beals. Will the tannins from the oak come through the base coat? They just might unless you use um, unless you use a shellac base primer. I did not because I just thought, well, you know what? It's just going to be what it is. Because I just may end up adding some dark wax to this too. Okay, so we press it in place and then watch, and watch. We're gonna dampen the inlay backing so that it gets those pigments activated and we see that transparency of the inlay again. Love it. Isn't it great? <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, Sharon, I'm so glad you're going to do the class. I think you're going to really, really like it. Yeah, guys, just let it be okay that you make a mistake. I think that that too, like the price of these inlays versus like an eight sheet one, for example. Like here, I misjudged my placement here. Whatever, whatever, it's okay. Cheryl says, this is like a long lost treasure chest from your great, great, great somebody's attic. I know. Tracy, I agree. She says, I really enjoyed the second use of an inlay when it has picked up the <gasps> color from a previous yes, paint color. Yes, yes. It's so cool. Okay, we're going to go ahead and while that is double checked it. Yep, that's what I need here. And that one is going to go here. And do I have enough? Oh, you know, I'm going to make that work right there. Perfect. As you can see, I'm laying kind of a generous amount on here. 
Are you going to sell this chest? I'm sure she will. Oh, yes, I will. Okay. Absolutely. Somebody, well, actually, someone who's watching bought that beautiful Velveteen Rabbit. Just change your camera a little bit. Oh, sorry. Bought that Velveteen Rabbit piece that I, I did. Hmm? I don't know if I'm at a delay, but I can't see what you're doing on the screen. So I guess because you're on either end. Oh, well, yeah, I can see myself in here. Okay. It's probably just on a delay. Yeah. Oops, let me get that little bar. Okay, now you're good. Good. So today I was downstairs waxing that dresser that had the, bo had the Bohemia stamp in it and all of that incredible texture. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get that finished and staged. Okay, let me come back to this guy and start to pick that up and look at that. <gasps> I didn't even have to dry that. Just the timing was like Aww. just perfect. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. Oops, sorry. So let me take a peek. There it goes. Look at that. Oh. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this worn, wonderful look that we got going on here. Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and do, let's do the center bit right here. Yes, that Velveteen Rabbit was so pretty. And you guys were... says, I applied a transfer onto a soup tureen. Do I need to seal the transfer? If yes, I only have DIY liquid patina and fusion dead collagen transfer trail. Can I use either of them to seal the transfer? That's tricky. Um, what are you going to use that soup tureen for? That's what I would like to know. That is what I'd like to know. What are you going to use it for? So some of the things that can happen when you're applying an inlay in small pieces is that you can get like a little line into your paint or into your liquid patina, whatever, your decoupage medium, whatever you're using. So you can kind of lift this, like the edge of the transfer. Oh, uh, smart. Yeah. I've shown this in some videos that I've done before. Um, but it just makes not such a straight line. Mm -hmm. But honestly, in, in the clear medium, 
those those edges kind of disappear but then we also I did a project with the um, the melange yeah is that the name of it? The melange. Elizabeth's asking if she would decoupage the large aged paper you know what I'm talking about that we saw like right behind you mm -hmm. hanging the same as she would any decoupage paper yeah, I would use a heavier decoupage medium, like Fusion. Yeah, like a thicker medium. Let that lay just a little bit too long. See how it's picking up that paint? But that's okay. It's all right. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and get these two on here. Just so satisfying when you peel that off, isn't it? I remember how I. Yeah, on the top, I really peeled a lot of paint because <laughs> I was in a hurry, of course. Some build up of. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, it does. So after I'm going to let this dry completely. And then I would give this a little spritz with 50-50 uh, water and um, polycrylic like Fusion or uh, Funkature. Um, or you can spray it with like a matte acrylic uh, sealer like Krylon. Um, but you want to you want to spray a mist over this because obviously these guys are water soluble that's what makes them embed into our mediums and if I were to brush a paintbrush full of polycrylic across here what's going to happen they're going to smudge and smear trust me I've learned the hard way so you don't have to <laughs> Yes, if any of you are seeing this inlay and wishing you had <clears throat> ordered it after all and you have an order that hasn't shipped, you can just write a note and I can combine your orders and refund any excess shipping. Oh my gosh. Because I know that will happen as you see people create things with mm -hmm. all of this stuff. It's like when I rub my fingers over this, I can feel the green of the oak. That's cool. It's cool for me because it's like, I guess this is what I'm talking about. The tactile nature. Of, I like, I love being able to like rub this in and then wet it and do, I just do all the things. I feel like I'm just more a part of the whole process. Lift and lift and lift. Oh my goodness. Kind of like the difference between like popping a frozen lasagna in the oven or putting one together for yourself. Um yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's a that's a, actually that's a very good. Both analogy. can taste wonderful. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I've had some great frozen lasagnas. Let me tell you what, I'm gonna confess here, because you know, I, I do, I've made many of a lasagna in my day. They're very labor intensive. They are labor intensive, and they feed a lot of people. <laughs> so, not in my home. Not in your home. <laughs> However, now that it's just two of us, what I've discovered is that Aldi has a really delicious, it's not frozen. It's just a refrigerated lasagna. And I'm telling you, it's so good. 
And that's enough for JR and I for two meals. Nice. And I would make a lasagna myself and then freeze it, but we only have the top of our fridge. We don't have a lot of freezer space. <gasps> Look at that. So pretty. Okay. So also, you don't we... have time. I don't. <laughs> to make a lasagna. Okay. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. I love That's it. That's amazing. I did <laughs> this end with one of these and some leftover. There's where my other little little circle bits <laughs> went. So I have to do the other end. I won't bother you with all of that. Um, I'll do that as soon as I'm done here. Now, my top has been dried and completely sealed. And I decided that I thought it needed another little tiny stripe. And so I'm not going to um, go over this, or what am I saying? I'm not going to freehand this, but you could. Those of you that are, I just don't want to do it on camera because I know I'll <laughs> get really nervous. And I'll get back in range again in just a second, but I do want to show you what I'm thinking here. So I had applied my sealer last yesterday, yesterday morning, or no, maybe it was Saturday. So curious what you're doing. Oh my gosh. I'm just adding a little more depth and dimension with this. Let me do a little bit of woodwick. Sandy said one of the key molds from Lock and Key would look cute. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, you guys. Okay, so this is my Woodwick paint, and it's just kind of a little medium brown, kind of a brownie gray. And I'm just going to take a brush. Well, Lynn Brundage. I need that other piece there. So you could stencil this also so that you don't get any under I'm working with a dry brush, kind of a drier brush here. Because I don't want any to bleed through that tape. So kind of as if you were stenciling. Yeah, it is. You're right. So I can kind of pounce that. It's just going to give a little kind of shadowing. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It needed that one extra little bit. So you're gonna leave it kind of translucent like that? Mm-hmm. Look at, oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my next, my next little stripe. Chance. <laughs> Do you hear them, you guys? <laughs> And I do, and again, I'm gonna to have to kind of work back and forth because. Oh yeah, uh, Leah, that would look oh, nice. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Leah um, said she thought you were gonna do a tiny bold stripe. Yeah, you could do that, that too. Would that would pretty. be beautiful. I can't believe I didn't think of that. And Laura Hall's here. Laura, thank you for the pictures from Scotland. 
Shit, you have never heard you so thirsty. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> you are so thirsty, Chancy. Just it's fussy work, but it's it's what's gonna make it like just that one extra level of special. So you don't even care if it goes over your inlay, huh? Well, that's not a stripe that I'm painting in. Oh, that's okay. that's for this. It's like optical. I don't even know how you're keeping track of all this. Oh, you know, I don't either. But I can see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay with me. It's okay. Like, I don't know how you're keeping track of where you're painting and not painting. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. No, you do have it. I'm just Yeah, so look at me. I'm going to paint right over that inlay. And look at me being okay with it. Oh, so it was a stripe. Thing. It is, yeah. Yeah, look what I did right there. Let me get my Q-tip. See, that's what happens when I try to like go too fast. That's what happens, see? But it's okay because I can just do that. So now you'll have to um seal again because you added oh no that's I fusion. don't that's fusion, fusion has a built-in top coat so sorry I really was, don't need I'm to forgetting that you were using fusion Laura said it looks luscious oh look what I did you're right I did go right over the <laughs> dog got it do you want wipes yeah I better grab a baby wipe I have some right over here Megan yep see Look at me. Look what I did. We had just a lovely lady came in um, on Saturday who follows us and she had said, oh, I just have to tell you, the one thing I love about you is how you mess up. <laughs> and I hope I don't offend you when I'm saying it. I, mean, I am not offended. Trust me. I am happy to do this in front of you so you can see that it happens. It happens to the best of us. Luckily, you sealed those inlays with liquid patina because yes. you'll be rubbing them right off right now. Exactly. It, they really look hand painted, those inlays. Don't they? It's crazy. Yeah. So, you see, it's all going to be okay. It's all okay. It's nothing to get your knickers in a knot over. Oh my gosh. See? Have you ever had your knickers in a knot? Well, you know what? I truly, I probably have. Many times. Well, you know me, yeah. Megan. I I can tend to be somebody that's a worry ward or get anxious or whatever. Well, I so. hate to see anyone knot their knickers. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to get the right stripe here. <laughs> <laughs> I have this little, you know, the curve of the... So it's best that I pounce, but here I am going right over top of my inline instead of putting down another piece of tape right there to tape that off. See you guys? This is what happens. I'm not thinking. It's really hard to think and create. I Because I literally am going from right brain to left brain here. It's oh, crazy. And trying to do it in front of all of you. Annie says this looks very English country to her. It does, yeah. Yes, mistakes happen to everyone, and showing us how to fix it is great. I agree. Yes. With that. Keep that Q-tip handy, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, it's like it's a little like here. It's I'm thinking that's paint, but it's not. It's where I distressed <laughs> yeah. it. I had sanded a little bit. I was thinking bit. the same thing right there. But yeah, I don't know it is. But I think it just gives it that one extra little bit of depth there, you know? That's what I want. Yes. We are just about done, you guys. 
except you have to do the whole front, the front too, right? Yeah. You don't want to stick around for that. Mm, they might. No. That looks really good. Well, because I need to let this in, like, I need yes. to let it dry, yeah. and then I'll come back to it tomorrow and apply my spritz and my, um, okay, my so, final coat. So even though you put the inlay down in patina, you still put I do. Okay. I do. You know, just to be on the safe side. Okay. That's good to know. Maybe you did already say that, but again, it bears repeating. I don't think I did. And it's like, why not? You know, it's okay to. Or did I? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Whatever. Like I said, it bears repeating if you did say it. Yeah. So, you know what? Don't be a smarty pants like me and try to tape off a few sections at a time. I think it's easier to keep track of your stripes if you just work your way across one stripe at a time. Nina says it looks like it's looking like an antique fancy piece of luggage. Oh. Didn't you make You guys, I wanted this to look like antique French mattress ticking. <laughs> But it's a box, so. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, didn't you once have some purses made out of some French ticking? Mm-hmm. Yep, I sure did. They were amazing. I am jumping over to this one because I don't want to lay my tape into that wet paint. This would look really cool with a crackle finish over mm -hmm. it too. Like if you wanted it to, if you wanted to add even another bit oh of my gosh, that would look like so dimension nice. to it. Would you use the fine line? No, I'd probably just use classic. Oh my gosh, that would look so cool. Wow, that really sets off these stripes. Really does set it off. Irene said she had some Ralph Lauren bedding that looked just like this. There you go. Classic. And that is what we love about what Josie and Sally do. They are classic, timeless designs. Mm -hmm that truly will never go out of style. And there it is. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful, you guys? Love it, love it, love it. It just makes me very, very, very happy. <laughs> love it, it's one of my favorites. So Thanks good. Thanks made. Yeah. Okay, you guys, just because of the week last week, I got so behind, so, I am going to put the link up for this two-part jelly plate class. When? I'm going to put it up today. Okay. I'll send it to the text group. Okay. It'll be a little bit later today, but I finally, I've got my collection list all done, and um, nice. I've gotten our, you know, the other parts and pieces all to put together, um, and yeah. I all think right. we're going to well add this. Can't wait. Can't wait. That's going to be fun. Billy said she would like a class on just crackle finishes. And you know what? That's not a terrible idea to just do a one, a one-off class all about crackles. Okay. I can do that. I think, I think, you know what I mean? It could be one night. It could be one and night. And everyone can talk about.
about crackles together in the group. It's a great place to have questions. Everything we love about crackles. <laughs> she won't forget that stripe, Jeannie. It's just because she didn't want to put the paint or Where? the tape in that paint. Oh, right here. Yes. Oh, okay, Jeannie. Let's do it right now. I know everyone wants to see that last one. <laughs> I don't blame you. And you know what? I needed a fresh piece of tape anyway because it um, had gotten too gunky on the edges. JR and I are gonna go get some barbecue. Why are you? Why am I painting over there? <laughs> I don't know. See, I'm at the end. I was like, end. isn't that I why you didn't do it? Because of... I thought you didn't want to cover that um, wet end. paint. I'm with... at the end of my rope right now. Tape. Where is? Oh, here's my baby. Oh, I... Jeez. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Oh my gosh, you guys. Cackle and crackle. That's what we're going to call it, Melissa. Okay. I, well, I know great. Melissa wants that, too. I think she is not alone. I would say probably the most asked questions we get are about inlays and, it doesn't and matter. about crackles. And it doesn't matter how many no. times no. I've gone over it. But if we have a very um, specific, like, that's all we're going to talk about. I think it's great. That would be great. And you can show all the kinds. And please don't be afraid to go to our YouTube channel. I've got all the Crackle videos over there as well. We'll call it the Great Crackle Forum. <gasps> because now we have some, even some other ones, like the Random Crackle, the Micro Crackle. We do. Yeah, uh, right. the Transparent Cracking Gel, like ones that you haven't done videos on. Oh, the Cracking Paste. Yeah. That is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Now I'm like, well, maybe it needs to be two nights. <laughs> <laughs> the great crackle debate. Which is your favorite? All right. There. Are you happy, you guys? Yes. Good. All right. So that is it for today. Thank you for hanging out with us for this fun project. Um, I'm going to finish this off. I'll take some glamour shots and I'll be sharing this to the text group and, of course, um, on the YouTube thumbnail. So um, I guess all of this to say, guys, don't be afraid to try an inlay. They're here to stay. And it's just that next level. You know, I can remember when Josie and Sally did transfers for the mm -hmm. first, and, and I'm telling you, the they those girls are on the cutting edge of everything. Everything you're, you were using for decor, the molds, the they were the ones that invented those sizes and those uh, the applications for home decor. And they are doing it best, the best they, quality. They are doing it best. Yes. Yeah. And so I can remember the first time thinking, oh my gosh, trying to do a mold, like casting that mold, Megan, and like. I'm never going to get this right. And then I did. And the first time using a transfer, remember, I've told you guys, like, I was so excited. And of course, I choose the biggest, most complicated project that there could be. And I got the entire thing rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed with my applicator stick on the front of that dresser and went to peel back the carrier sheet only to find out that I never removed the backing sheet. <laughs> it must have been a white dresser. It was. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, this is something new and different. I've never done it before, so let's do it. And I didn't do it. <laughs> but I learned. And um, so, yeah, it's just one more tool in your creative arsenal, I guess. So, um, anyway, we're excited to... Uh, Get excited along with you, I guess. And I want you to try them. I want you to try these because they're really, they're just so wonderful. They really are. And check out that inlay class if you still are like very curious and have lots of que yeah. questions. It's yeah. five, it's five classes. It is. So you yeah. really, it's really a lot of content and you get to keep it forever. Yeah. So you can go back and yeah. look at it over and over That's again. It's probably one that I really need to have Jonathan Add it down. Add it down yeah. for us so that we can pop it on YouTube and it's like one yeah. and done place for you to look at it. So Yeah, add it to the list. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday and Tuesday. We will see you on Wednesday. Um, Who knows what we'll do? I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, good. Yeah. 
<laughs> and remember, if you just decided you want this inlay, and when you first ordered, you were like, I don't want any inlays. And Forget now you do, about it. If your order hasn't shipped, just write a little note on your order, and I'll I'll refund whatever shipping I can and combine your orders. I yep. get it. That's right. Okay. Have a lovely evening. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Bye.